Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Williams Sandwich Recipes of 1974, we're going to be making something special. Now that's, that's the name of the sandwich. Something special. First thing we do is spread whole wheat bread with mayonnaise. And we sprinkle on sunflower seeds. It does not say how much. About that was shredded lettuce, tomato, and the recipe calls for salt and pepper but doesn't say when to put it on, so I'm going to put it on here. Pepper. Also says to use Schilling Romano cheese spice. Well, uh, Schilling got bought by McCormick. McCormick changed the uh, formula and it's now this, Salad Supreme. It does have Romano cheese in it, so hopefully that's kind of true. And a slice of Swiss and cheddar. Then into a 400 degree oven until the cheese is melted. Now that the cheese is melted and in true 70s form, let's add some alfalfa sprouts. Okay, let's give this something special a go. It's interesting. Uh, the melted cheese is nice. Alfalfa sprouts are, I guess, crunched. Tomato's nice. Um, the seasoning blend is kind of like old school kind of garlic bread from the 70s kind of seasoning. It's not bad, but I do want to plus it up a little bit. I'm going to add some fried dill pickle chips. I think that'll be a nice little contrast of flavor and texture. And what the heck, let's close it up. Okay, let's give this something special plushed up with fried dill pickle chips and closed up. Go. It's not bad. I do like the crunch of the fried pickles, chips, and I do like the flavor that it's bringing. Sunflower seeds, which I did not mention earlier, nice little crunch there too, although they did get hot, so they're not quite as crunchy. Well, I gotta say, the uh, something special is not that special. It was fine. It's not something I would go out of my way to make or eat again. Um, I will finish it, so there's that. I think I'd give the original something special, I don't know, like a four and a half, five. Plus up with the fried dill pickle chips. That's probably like six. I, like I said, I am gonna finish it. I'm probably never gonna make this again. And I know what you're thinking. Just add bacon, just add turkey. Here's the deal, I make the recipes as written and then I plus them up for the modern palate if they uh, have potential. And I don't usually add bacon or meat to sandwiches that don't have them because that usually becomes the start of the show. You know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna finish that. See you tomorrow. <laughs>